before fruit can come up. It is of the devil's desire that each of us wither and dry up before we reap a harvest. Before the fruit of the spirit can be developed in a Galatians, amen, 5 and 22 talks about the fruit of the spirit. It didn't say fruits. It said fruit, which gives me the understanding. I was talking to Evangelist Greer, you know that that fruit is like the pomegranate. With a lot of seeds in it, but it's still one pomegranate. Right. Yeah, you cannot have love and joy without having faith and long suffering. They all come together. That's like being a little pregnant. Either you are or you're not. A little married. I'm a, I'm a little married. No, either you're married or you're not. I don't care if you live with your husband or your wife. If you're married, you're married. The Bible says, but then there was some. The Bible says, and others fell into. One was by, one was upon, but this went in there. Look at somebody say, it's in there, it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. It went in and it was able to work and be prepared and the ground had been plowed and tilled and ready to receive the word of God. Right to receive the harvest of God. See, we have to understand that God is planting in us. Are we ready to receive the seed? The Bible says that, and then it brought forth fruit. See, you ain't really got a seed in your ground if you ain't got no fruit. I'm going to say that again because somebody look like they need to hear it. You do not have a true seed of God if there is no fruit coming up. Eventually, you ought to have some signs of holiness. Eventually, you ought to have some signs of righteousness. Eventually, you ought to have enough faith to fight the devil on your own. We, amen, are birthing and raising up a generation of brats. Spoiled brats. That when they don't get what they want, they fall out and kick and scream like a little old baby, and then we pick them up and pat them. Oh, all right. Yes. I was at a visiting church, and I promise you I didn't know these people. But it is what it is. I was raised old school. I ain't old, but I was raised old school. And this little boy was giving his poor mama a hard time the whole service. He was slapping her around, and I was thinking to myself, ooh. You know, my whooping hand got nervous. Wasn't the Holy Ghost that was, I can get him. I can really, really get him. Really get him. I was after church and I was speaking to the pastor's wife. And this little boy was terrorizing everybody in his path. And he fell out and made the mistake and fell out in front of me. What? <laughs> and before I knew it, I had snatched that little boy up. I said, you done fell out in front of the wrong person. The devil is a lie. I command you by the name of the Holy Ghost to come subject. Be still. Baby, I believe that boy wanted to go in tongues. Uh, he sat down on that bench and did not move. See, sometimes we just got to take the authority that God has given us. Why do we want to live a victorious life? Why do we want to live a defeated life? 
investment on his return. He ain't expecting a return on his investment. He, uh, like the man that had, amen, the service with five talents and two talents and one talent. When God gives you something, he is expecting you to replenish it. Multiply it. Make it good. I don't care if your anointing is sweeping this church. Baby, you better sweep this church in Jesus' name. You better make it look as clean and holy ghost feel as you ever have in your life. Baby, if I had to just clean the toilet, baby, I'd clean the toilet in Jesus' name. Because that's what God has called us to do. Well, the Bible says whatever you find for your hands to do, do it with all of your might. We got seed. Now, where is the fruit? It's not God's fault that you ain't got where you're supposed to be. It's yours. It's not God's fault that we're still living in poverty. It's yours. See, because we have to understand if we want to receive money, we got to give money. If we want to receive peace, we got to receive. We got to give peace. But the Bible says that seed bearing after its own kind. If you want to have joy, start, have, start sowing some joy. I guarantee you, if you just let the devil know that I ain't gonna be sad through here, All right. the devil will back up off of you. Yeah. If you determine in your mind, I'm not accepting, I told the devil, I'm not accepting sickness no more. Get back. Yeah. It's over. Let it go. Yeah. I've been sick too long in my life. I done been through too many hospitals. They know me by every hospital almost in the city of Dallas. I done been in. The devil is a lie. I ain't going to now another hospital. Yeah. I don't care what symptoms come my way. I have the power to speak into the spirit and God will manifest it for me. Yeah. Because I got a seed that will bring forth fruit. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's time for us, amen, to see the hundredfold fruit bearing. It's time for us, the people of God, to see that 64. Maybe you ain't got 60. Maybe you only got 30. But baby, you better shout and give God glory just for what you got. Amen. So what? You ain't moved out the project. Baby, he done gave you furniture for your project department. Give God some praise for that. Amen. I done lived in the project before too. And right up the project right where you are. <laughs> you mad because you live in a project and don't want to clean it? No, you ain't getting no mention. You ain't want to clean the one room you got. You don't want to wash that. You don't make sense. You got a car and won't wash it because it ain't the car you want. Baby, you better wash that car and print it, paint it, and do it and make it look like a Mercedes until you get it. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to tell you off on Josh. Uh, their son, he bought a nice car. I mean, nice car. It started all by itself. I was walking down and he started that car and I was like, okay. I know ain't nobody in this car. I walked back in the house. I said, did you start that car? He said, yeah. I don't even know what kind of car it is, but it's nice. But I looked down at the tires and he had Cadillac. <laughs> 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 Just said, I ain't gonna, he got a 